Hello, and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. Today I'm here with Anza, and we're going to talk about Orion Dino Beatdown. Doesn't fucking work! Okay, well, we're going to get to that. So, right now, we're on the main menu. Well, no, actually, let me start. Let me back up here. We were uh, browsing around on Steam, looking at stuff that looked interesting, or at least I was, and the idea of dinosaurs, jetpacks, Unreal Engine 3, and endless environments really caught my eye. Uh, and so they're selling this game, Orion Dino Beatdown, for eight ninety nine today, since it's just come out. And the promise was that it's some sort of like a Left 4 Dead co-op multiplayer with class-based stuff and all kinds of really kind of amazing sounding stuff. And I saw a video of people playing it, animations look beautiful, the graphics look beautiful. I was really excited, and I sent the link over to Anza. He saw it too. He's like, oh my god, we gotta get this. So he goes and buys a four-pack of it, and he was so kind as to actually gift me a copy of this game. And, oh, that was that was the best part, and after that it all went downhill. So I started the game uh, really excited, and I, I went to start a single-player game just to see what was going on, and the first thing that happens was the, the frame rate was like, five or eight. So it was pretty much unplayable, and I turned off most of the graphic settings, messed around with it for a while, and eventually for no reason it just started to work and function as normal. So I was like, alright, whatever, maybe it's having issues with fraps. So I quit that game, uh, started up another game, and little by little it seemed like more and more of the features were not working, and uh, Anza's experience was pretty similar, so we were trying to create games so we could share them with each other and hopefully make an Indie Impressions video of us playing the game together and show you what the gameplay looked like and how it was quite pretty to look at and all that good stuff. Little by little, though, like I said, the features seemed to disappear from the game, and right now, we can't do much of anything. The game doesn't work, like any of it. So uh, Anz has been clicking madly through all the forums trying to figure out what's going on. And uh, share, share with the viewers some of the results that you found. So, okay, there's this thread. i got to find it. It's amazing. You're going to crack your pants from laughter. Ah, calm yourselves. According to David Prassel, a Spiral Games studio dev, there will be a large patch for bug fixes on Monday. Right. And we're recording this. What day is it today? It is Friday. Friday, okay. And now, we, we paid for it on today, Friday. Yeah, but the special thing is that Steam just announced it, like, like not even 45 minutes ago, that, hey, there's a new game on, you should right. buy it and shit. Which is why I found it, to share it with Anza, because, you know, you're supposed to be excited about new releases when they come out. That's the idea, anyway, so the hype is supposed to perpetuate how good a game is. So in this case, I'm doing my part to make sure that it goes in the opposite direction. <laughs> and uh, on the Steam forums, they're, they're like, <laughs> like this guy, like, if I have to wait till Monday, why did the game release, you know, like, today? Now, yeah. And there's, like, tons of players uh, saying the same stuff. And there was also this story about, like, uh, that the games company, like, fired er everybody just before launching the game so they, they could not get paid, but... Right. That that apparently is a lie. I, I, I yeah. don't know what's happening. We don't know anymore. like what out of that is at all true. So, I mean, this is all speculation. We're not saying that that actually happened, but people are talking about some weird crap that went on with the development. There's, There's also accusations that they stole art assets from people. And, again, speculation. But it just doesn't sound good. So, I'm on the, the server browser right here, which is presumably how you would access the game. Now, we bought this through Steam, so I was assuming kind of naively that we'd be able to connect to each other by sending Steam in invites. That doesn't work, though. Uh, so here's the browser, and one would presume that if you created a game from the main menu that it would show up in this browser list, and you could set a password or whatever, and have a private game with each other. Uh, but we found out that not only does the game you create not show up on this browser list, but you can't actually access any of the servers here. Uh, so we found out later that if you hit Stop Refresh, that's the key to accessing the server so you can connect to them. The connect button doesn't do anything. But, here's the crux. When you hit stop refresh, which I won't do right now because it crashes the game. So there's no way to connect to a server at all. 
Now you'd say, well, that's great and everything. That Well, not great, but that sucks a lot. But why not just play a solo game? Well, apparently the solo game needs server authentication, and there's no way to do that either. I got into one for a few minutes. I was playing around with it, you know, when, when it broke, and it was kind of cool for a minute, but now I can't get in. The good point, though, is that when you click on create, it makes this very, very sweet sound. Yeah, it goes tink. <laughs> it's like tingle, 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 and then it, it nothing happens. So you can see right here, I, I can select out of these three, and, and the game called them like procedurally generated or endless environments, right? Oh, uh, yeah. That? Yeah, because yeah. I, I actually did get to drive a car around this uh, Covan area, and there were mountains blocking all sides, so not sure how that's endless. But I can just sit here and spam the create button in what is supposed to be solo. It says up in the top right corner, solo. Create, 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 create. Doesn't create anything. So we're left with the options that we can actually play with, which are achievements. We can look at the achievements that we have or have not achieved. Now I've gotten... I've gotten one, three of them. I don't know how... Where are they? I don't know. I don't really care where they are, but there's apparently achievements. And I've also got some options that I can look at, like game volume, which is pretty cool. Uh, talk about voice management, microphone boost, which is a pretty advanced level option. We've got lots and lots of uh, graphic options here. We can change the bloom, the depth of field, the motion blur. I, I turned a bunch of these off just for compatibility's sake, because some of them seemed like they were breaking my frame rate which I, I can run, you know, Unreal Tournament 3 just fine, and this is based on the same engine, so not sure why it would be harder. Uh, can set the mouse movement features, you can set your keyboard settings. Yeah, but, you know, without an actual game to play, who the fuck cares, right? <laughs> well, some players can play, but unfortunately they are not on this call. Yeah... So, um, what is my, uh, would this game be a buy for, for the fans? Well, see, here's the thing. If you want to buy a game that doesn't do anything, definitely. Go for it. <laughs> Throw your fucking money away. Go for it. Have fun. Uh, but we like games that actually do stuff, so no. Don't buy this game. And tell your friends not to buy this game, because this is an unacceptable way to launch a game. You can say I'm butthurt, whatever. I mean, I didn't actually buy it. If anything, Anza should be the one raging right now. But I just don't think that this is really a good way to do anything. It's not a good way to foster good business relationships. It's not a way to get a community together that cares about your products. And it results in people making angry YouTube videos about your game. So, <laughs> happy launch, Orion Dino Beatdown. Well, to be honest, I'm pretty calm. My fingers, though. I believe he's clicking create game. I'm just guessing, though. I'm pressing the space bar and they click at the same time. Maybe I'm going to get on at, at some point. Man, this, you know what this brings me back to, actually? <laughs> yes. Diablo 3 beta. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. I've just created an incredible parallel here between Orion Dino Beatdown and Diablo 3. So suck that, big business. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to make another video of this, but when it's going to be fixed, which yeah. could take days or years or never, so do not expect anything. If it does work, we're going to show it. And that even at its very best, I want you to keep in mind what this video said when we're talking about the good points of this game, if we ever do get to that. Well, there's music, that's... Yeah, it had some pretty epic-sounding dino Jurassic Park-y kind of music when it turned on. Uh, I don't know where that went, I, I guess it turned off by itself. Yeah. So, really, all we're left with is this options menu and this picture, and you get to see my Steam tag. <laughs> Yay. Or, I don't even know, yeah, I guess it's my Steam tag, because it's got my avatar picture. But other than that and the achievements, this has just about nothing to do with Steam, and pretty much crashes when you try to do anything with it. So. Well, I tried. My fingers hurt now. Ouch.
So this game will actually cause you physical pain, as well as emotional torment <laughs> and strife. <laughs> well, I'm not sure how much longer you want to stare at this picture of this T-Rex and these Marines that look like they're at a time shift shooting it. Uh, but it has jetpacks, it has laser guns, it has all kinds of Left for Dead goodness, but we can't play it. So we'll talk to you next time. Maybe it'll be better. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.